You've learned at classes how to assess when labor starts. Now the long-awaited moment has arrived. Keep calm. Get your husband to telephone the hospital and tell us what's happening. We'll either send an ambulance to fetch you, or your husband may bring you in by car. On arrival at hospital, the clerk at the reception desk will send for a nurse to take you to the admission room with your case, which has no doubt been ready for several weeks. While you're in the admission room, your husband, if he has come with you, will be asked to sit in the waiting area for a while. Nurse will unpack your belongings from the case into the supermarket basket. You'll have been given a list of what you need to bring in with you. When you've undressed, various preparations are necessary for the birth. Your temperature is taken. Your pulse checked. In fact, all the various examinations that you've been through many times before in the antenatal clinic. At this final stage, we still like to be quite sure that everything is absolutely normal. And this includes examining the legs just to see that no serious swelling has occurred. The vulval area will be shaved for cleanliness and comfort. You'll be helped to have a nice warm bath, as this is both comforting and stimulating to the contraction. An enema is given. This is quite painless, and like everything else we do here, there's a good reason for it. The purpose being to empty the back passage to give more room when you push baby into the world. Now, with all the examinations and preparations complete, you're taken along to the room that has been specially prepared for your labor. In the labor room, your husband may come and sit with you and give you encouragement during this waiting period. There's been a lot of discussion as to whether a husband should be present at the birth. Some couples are in favor of this, while others may decide against it. Really, it's a decision for each couple to make for themselves when they've considered it.